Well, a massive crash on the 401 a few hours east of Toronto caused more than just a traffic headache this afternoon. A toxic chemical spill exposed dozens of drivers to a hazardous material, sending a number of them to hospital. Police confirmed this evening that the driver of a transport truck carrying the hazardous substance has died. Nearly 30 vehicles collided just after 2 p.m. on the 401 near Brockville. The transport truck leaked about 10,000 liters of a toxic liquid onto the highway. Those responding uh, to the hazardous material uh, situation indicated um, that if it was exposed to heat, it would convert to hydrofluoric acid, which is uh, highly corrosive, highly dangerous, uh, highly poisonous. 29 people, including first responders, were exposed to the chemical and transported to Kingston General Hospital for decontamination. It really looks like everything worked the way it's supposed to work in this type of situation. The hospital received the people. They knew what they were dealing with. The first responders knew what they were dealing with. Transportation safety expert Chris Harris says clear labeling is required on trucks carrying dangerous goods so that EMS crews can know what's inside in the event of an emergency. There are also strict rules around the types of containers that can carry them. There is no perfect way to move dangerous goods or hazardous materials. Harris says unlike the U.S., which uses a centralized body to license truckers who transport dangerous goods, Canada requires companies to train their own drivers, and licenses must be renewed every three years. I believe the way we license our dangerous goods carriers uh, is better. The uh, carriers train the drivers specifically for their company, so the goods that that company particularly carries, the driver gets well trained and well versed on. The Ministry of Transportation says that stretch of the 401 sees more than 28,000 vehicles pass through it every day, with commercial vehicles making up about 30% of that traffic. Harris points out incidents like this are rare. The, the trucking industry over the last number of years has been safer and has been, uh, if you measure it by the million miles, how many crashes per million miles we have, we have been getting better and better. Now, the evacuations today did not extend into residential areas, and officials say there is no danger to the public. Janella Massa, City News.